Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, quite a few of you have asked me to talk about one that we see from time to time. I've seen that also. Uh, Error 502, bad gateway on the uh, websites when you actually surf the web. What does it mean? What happened? So bad gateway is a way to tell you that between your PC, the server, and the reply back, something went wrong. Now, there's several things that can give you a bad gateway from local problems, your PC and your setup, your router and modem, because that could be a cause of bad gateway. If something's wrong in the settings there or something's just not right, your system might not be able to connect correctly to the web and to servers. It gives you a bad gateway problem. Most of the time, because uh, that is one aspect, but it doesn't happen very often, but you know, misconfiguration of your setup could uh, technically do that. Most of the time, it's because when you actually ask for a website, so when you go and your browser brings you the website that you're asking for, here I have Google, your website that is appearing sometimes and even often actually comes from multiple hops. What does that mean? It means when you ask for a website, you're not necessarily directly linked to it. Your computer requests the address from your ISP, then it might find that another computer saying, well, you know, come through here and go through there, and then you'll find what you want so you can send it back. So the different hops and the different servers you're going through, well, something can go wrong in that process. It could be a misconfigured server. It could be a communications problem. When you actually connect to websites, there's always checksums. There's always a code that's being checked to make sure that the bits that you're received have been okay, are okay. You know, they're intact. They, there's no break in those bits. Well, maybe there was. Maybe one communication server wasn't really good and errors happen between the codes that are being sent. And what happens? Well, you get this bad gateway. So the answer back isn't good. Something's wrong somewhere and I can't really give you what you want because I'm not sure what you want. It's, it's garbled or it's just not right. So it gives you a 502 bad gateway. So there's different things like that. In rare cases, it happens that bad gateway can be an indication of malware on a computer because malware sometimes wants to redirect you. So instead of going through you know, Google, for example, you are going through mysterious servers that will try to bring you Google in a different way or an imitation of Google or whatever. Well, because now you're going through multiple hops that weren't there before, you could have a bad gateway error. But uh, let's say that from experience, most of the time, it's really just between the different servers on the web that are trying to communicate with each other. Something just went wrong in there, and you get this error message. Of course, all sorts of things can make this error message. You know, just like Windows can give you multiple different error messages for the same problem, um, this error can result in the fact that maybe one server is... Uh, too busy, too, too many requests, and when you actually hit it for the request, uh, instead of giving you, well, I'm, you know, I'm overloaded and I'm whatever message it should give you back, it maybe just tried to process a request, but it just failed. So once again, resulting in a bad gateway. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.